I know there's too much um, things working in too much perfect accordance, right? For there not to be someone who's actually all powerful that's put all this into motion, right? Now, before the camera started, we were going to discuss like how would we know, like which that is, which what religion should we follow? What's what's the truth? Sorry, wait. Yeah, go 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 for it. I'll step back here. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye bye, religion. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get them in the combo, like, yeah, yeah, easy. She's, uh, I don't know who she is. Hello, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, okay, okay. So, how would we know something's from, from God? Because the premise that Muslims believe is simple, right? That there's one God. It's not multiple gods, it's one. Yeah? And we worship that God alone without making any part. How do you feel about that? Um, nothing. Is it something you agree with? Something that makes sense? Yeah. Because this, this is the fan, foundational belief, right? Even Jesus Christ taught to believe in one God. Moses taught to believe in one God. Abraham was famous for being a monotheist. He believed in only one God. Does that make sense? So I'm not teaching you something for it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright. Because the Quran tells, says to us that, look, come to common terms between us and them. Yeah? We don't worship none but Allah. Yeah. yeah? So I'm, I'm, I'm showing you what, what's common amongst us, right? So if we can agree on it, then we can build on it and then have a beautiful house in paradise. Yeah? So the foundational thing is belief in one God. Uh, is that something that you can relate to that makes sense? Yeah. Uh, now, that one God, would that one God create us with a purpose or purposelessly? Create with a purpose. With a purpose. Okay, I agree. Yeah. Now, would that create uh, give us, um, articulate or explain to us or let us know what that purpose is? Communicate that purpose to us? Yeah. Yeah? yeah I agree. Yeah? Got so much in common. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Now, how would God choose to communicate to us, would you say? I'd say it's like through Bible, through like science, like ocean stuff. Okay, Bibles as in scripture. Yeah. Uh, what was the second one you said? Uh, science, like the weather. Elaborate. Uh, this sounds uh, original, like for I like example, it. See how it's gleaming now? Yeah. Someone can see that. Someone can see that as the end is near. It's like it's gloomy. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? No, 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 no. As in the signs from God, as in like um, unusual things. Yeah. So you know that look, it's getting serious now. Something's gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. Right, I get what you mean by signs. All right. And those are things that Muslims would believe in, right? Now, scripture. Yeah. Um, you reference the Bible, right? Do you believe the Bible is the perfect, unchanged Word of God? No. Wait, wait, so what did you say? The wait, Bible sorry. is the perfect, unchanged Word of God. As in, it's perfectly revealed from God. Without yeah. any mistakes, any corruption. Yeah, kind of. Kind of? Kind of. Go on, elaborate. Uh, like the Bible changes, like, I don't know how many often every year though, it does change like, like so if it changes then it can't be the so, pure revelation yeah. from God you said it not me yeah, yeah. so I'm not going to get cancelled huh? you're not even know, I'm going to get cancelled for this because you know, they don't even know who you are <laughs> so I mean I'm affirming what you're saying so I have to agree with you right? and the reason I agree with you is because of what you said and the fact that look no one claims the Bible doesn't even claim to be from God the Bible doesn't even claim to be that's going to be perfectly preserved. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you can't make that claim. The Bible hasn't made that claim. Yeah. Now the Quran makes the claim that it's from God. The Quran makes the claim that God's going to preserve it perfectly. Yeah. So initially we started off okay, how do you know what's from God? Something that's perfect must be from God. Because God by definition uh, is perfect. 
So God's scripture must be perfect, it must be perfectly preserved, and the message must be perfect. How do you feel about that? Interesting. Why not? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's, let's break it down step by step. Is God perfect? Yeah. Yeah? Because us as human beings, we're dependent, we need things, um, forgetfulness overtakes us, we get tired. God um, is beyond these limitations. So, therefore, God must be perfect. Yeah. Yeah? God is not dependent, God is independent. Say that again? God isn't dependent on anything, oh, God yeah. is independent. Yeah. God is not in need of anything. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, um, God is unique. There's nothing comparable to God. Yeah? <laughs> so, for me, um, God is almighty. Yeah? So, for me, these things, these are, God is perfect in these attributes. Do you know what I mean? Being all powerful. Um, being perfect in the sense that all the perfect knowledge yeah. so God is perfect now um, the message that comes from God in the sense that the guidance that comes from God would you not expect that to be perfect because yes. if God is perfect what comes from God must be perfect as well yeah. now if God's that thing that's come from God is a good scripture then wouldn't you expect it to be perfectly preserved Yeah? 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 yeah. yeah. yeah that, that, that's where I'm going with it. Yeah? So I'm saying that, look, the Quran, yeah, I would argue, is the perfect scripture, perfectly preserved from God. How do you feel about that? Kind of agree? Kind of agree. Okay. Why kind of? You, you know Muslims, yeah? Uh, okay. Do you know any Muslim who's memorized the Quran word for word? Uh, They're known as Hafiz. Someone who's memorized the Quran. Yeah. You probably have, but they probably just didn't introduce themselves like that. Okay. Yeah. So one of the ways we've perfectly preserved the Quran is for all the tradition of memorization. So we've memorized the Quran word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot. Yeah. Uh, there's millions of non-Arabs who have memorized the Quran because, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. The Quran was revealed in Arabic, yeah, to an illiterate man, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who the revelation came to, right? So now the companions around him memorized it because he spoke it through the angel Gabriel, yeah, and the angel Gabriel gave that knowledge for God. So then he memorized it and he, he taught to his companions, they memorized it and then this is how we preserve the Quran. Even now, if you Google like a BBC done an article, uh, news broadcast regarding on how the Quran has been preserved and how in a university in Birmingham they found manuscripts, chapters of the Quran which they've carbon dated to the time of the Prophet. Yeah. Is the same Quran that we have now that people have memorized. Does it make sense? So that goes towards God's promise of preserving the Quran. Does it make sense? Because it's not man who's taking responsibility. God has taken responsibility that God's going to preserve this book. Yeah. Now regarding, yeah. So plus we've got other museums in Turkey and a university in Cairo. I'll leave that to one side. Yeah. How do you feel about what I'm saying, by the way? I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'm saying that if God, if this book is from God, God must have preserved it, yeah? Now, for this to be from God, what would you need to be convinced? Proof. Good. What proofs would you need? Uh, what would you define, what would meet your criteria for being proof? Physical evidence. For example, because this is the physical evidence. Yeah. So right now, when you open it up, you've got something tangible you can use to actually verify. So, um, what if it made prophecies and it came true? Then yeah, I believe. Yeah. What if it talked about history, 
things that a illiterate man in the desert shouldn't know, but talked about perfectly and got it right. Yeah. What if we talked about advanced knowledge in science and got it right? Okay. Um, nine verses into this Quran, right? Um, God says that the book where there's no um, doubt. Yeah. In other verses, it talks about how um, there's no crookedness, there's no mistakes in it. This Quran starts with saying there's no mistakes in it, there's no crookedness. Um, it has prophecies in it that's come true, right? Um, one of the miracles is one, the linguistic miracles. So, born Arabs were just like blown away by how um, the linguistic miracles in regard to how it was revealed. Because you know, the way it was revealed was through stages of um, not in a book form. Yeah. So then it, it came from God in the sense that it was the Prophet Muhammad in, in different circumstances, different verses got revealed and then it got compiled into a book. And still, it's a coherent book that makes sense. Yeah? So, the point I'm trying to get to is, right, um, would you like me to give you some examples of the prophecies or you want to go home, do some independent research and would you be inclined to reading this book? Yeah, I'd be inclined to reading it. Yeah. Do you have any questions for me? No. no. I've answered all of your questions. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let me ask you a profound question, right? If you were to die now, yeah. taking a bit morbid direction here, yeah, going a bit deep in, right? Where do you think your destination would be? I'm going to give this to you, by the way. Um, hopefully, heaven. Why? What have you done to enter into heaven? And I'll be honest with you, this, this conversation, you taking the book, um, you making elements to read it, is good steps. Yeah? Because um, remember, you know, as a Muslim, no Muslim is a Muslim until they believe in Jesus Christ. As a messenger sent by God. What's your relationship with Jesus Christ? Now, how, how do you perceive him? Do you see him as God or someone who is sent by God? Yeah. What's your belief or understanding of Trinity? Do you believe in the Trinity? Mm -hmm. What does it mean to believe in the Trinity? Um, to believe in the Son and the God and the Holy Spirit. I don't know. You know what the Trinity means? Yeah. The Trinity is basically saying the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they're not three gods, but they're one God. So it's saying the Son is equally God. The Holy Spirit is equally God. The Father is equally God. But a moment ago, you just said that you believe Jesus Christ isn't God, he's sent by God. I'm going to give you a headache. Yeah, <laughs> my head hurts. <laughs> No, no, because this is important because one of the fundamental differences between Muslims and Christians, right? Between going heaven and hell is this belief in regards to Trinity. And Jesus Christ himself never taught Trinity. That's true. Does it make sense? He never said, I am God or worship me. Yeah? He didn't even take anyone calling him good. So don't call me good. Does it make sense? And then constantly in the Bible, who's saying, the one who sent me, I'm sent by. Does that make sense? Jesus Christ, if he's God, like you're saying, the Trinity, who was he praying to? Did he not know he's God? He, in the Garden of Messiah, I forgot the pronunciation, my apologies, he fell to his forehead to the ground. Does that make sense? Um, you know, when he went to the fig tree, do you know about that? But the, in the Bible, it mentions uh, the disciples were hungry. Yeah? They went to the fig tree. Yeah? And Je Jesus Christ didn't know that there was no figs, that he was outside, out of the season, and he cursed the tree. So I'm like, God, one of the attributes, God being perfect, God knows everything. How could God not know that there's no figs on the tree? God is all powerful. How could he not just command the tree to have figs? How much time we've got for this conversation? I'm waiting for my friend. 
Where's your friend taking so long for? I don't know. It's a sign from God for us to continue this conversation. My head hurts. No, the, 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 these things are important and hopefully I'm going through like bite sizes, right? Because you know the thing that would lead to hellfire, yeah? Is to make partners with God. To say that um, that God has partners, yeah? 